What is going on, folks? What a long weekend for football. I have to say, last night's game, for most of you that know it, I'll get into it in another video about my parlay. Buffalo buried me last night. Damon, as a lifelong Jets fan, season ticket holder for over 20 years. I'm like begging you to throw this conversation into a different direction. Because the first thing I want to say is, is I know all of you out there watched Hard Knocks. You all watched the whole season. You got attached to this team. You got attached to Aaron Rodgers, to everybody in that organization. And to watch what happened last night after four plays, it's it's absolutely it's, heartbreaking. It's really sad. It's, it is it's heartbreaking. Very sad. Yeah, we did get it. Was, to be honest, there was a little bit of an uplift to see that team rise to the occasion instead of just wilt and fall to the ground was really, really amazing. And the thing to point out about that game was their defense. Whitehead had three picks, Reed was unbelievable, and we all know the Defensive Rookie of the Year from last year, Sauce Gardner, is the truth. That guy is absolutely incredible. And I want to go a little deeper into that, you know, because I've been talking with Seabless about this type of stuff, and defenses really are taking over the NFL. Linebacker play, cornerback play, defensive line play is absolutely overtaking and overshadowing. And it's something we want to think about because there's so many great kids that are coming out of school that are changing the way the game is played right now. You're going to see Devin Weatherspoon, the fifth overall pick for the Seattle Seahawks. You're going to probably see him next week. He didn't play this week. You saw Jack Campbell look amazing for the Detroit Lions. Yeah, Jameer Gibbs is an absolute stud. Sam Laporta even looked great, the new starting tight end for the Lions. Don't forget about Jack Campbell, who was the Butkus Award winner at linebacker. The defensive players are literally gaining ground in the NFL, and I'm telling you, watch card prices start popping up for these defensive players. What ends up happening to Aaron Rodgers and his career? Oh, we have to go back to that again. Um, we were just talking about this before we started shooting, and the truth is, is that people are debating He's 39 years old, right? So it can either be 12 months or an 18-month rehabilitation for a torn Achilles tendon. Look, what do we know about torn Achilles, right? We saw Kobe Bryant never be the same coming back from it. What is that? What is there, one player that's come back to full strength after that, and it's Kevin Durant, right? I, I personally, can Aaron Rodgers come back? I personally think that someone like Aaron Rodgers, I think the fact that he spent his whole career in Green Bay I think he wants to do this with a different team. And I think a lot of people, I watched Erica's video saying that I think his career is over. I actually would disagree with that. I think Rodgers, whether it's 12 months, whether it's 18 months, I believe he wants to win a Super Bowl with a different team other than Green Bay. And as we saw last night, defensively, the oh. Jets are phenomenal for one. Do they have the pieces? But look at, like, look at guys like Brees Hall. I mean, look at that They're catch so loaded. by Garrett Wilson. That was one of the greatest catches. That will be one of the best catches all year, bar none. So at the end of the day, when you look at the Jets, they and it, you know what's interesting? Their season win total before yesterday was nine. That was their season win total. You know what's funny? They've won game one. Their it new season, it's only eight and a half. It's only eight and a half. That's how, so that's people, how much they believe in that roster. So th what they're basically yeah. saying is, is Rodgers is that good? But the rest of that Jets team is also that good. So when you look at this team, they're basically saying that they're going to win 8 to 10 games in that, in that range, and they've already won one. And here's what people don't understand, is that the Jets right now, okay, they're a 9.5-point dog against Dallas in Dallas this week. The Jets still beat a Buffalo team that was healthy. They still beat a team that was completely healthy. And what I think it comes down to it is, I think the Jets can have that Cinderella-type story where they end up getting to the playoffs. You never know. Zach Wilson was the number two overall pick in, in 2021 for a reason, right? So he's, he's still young. He came out of BYU. The reality of it is the, the kid could play. We don't know how good he could play, but he can play. So let's just see how things develop. That's my opinion. That's actually the one tragedy about this whole thing that we didn't even mention, which is, is bringing Aaron Rodgers in. You are, and he's actually devoted himself. This is not a Brett Favre from back in, what was it, the early 2000s? It's not that situation where he was coming to the Jets to use them for a year to get himself back into the Green Bay division with the Vikings. Aaron Rodgers came here to win a Super Bowl. He planned on playing for a bunch of years. Who benefits from that? 
Zach Wilson because he gets to sit on the bench and learn for years from literally one of the greatest yeah. to ever play. That changes now, but at the same time, he has gotten some experience from him. He's still going to have him probably sitting in his ear. He's going to be talking to him every day. That's going to be a nice big help. So, hey, wait, talk about this on a card basis. I bet you Zach Wilson's market, pretty low. <laughs> Get some Zach Wilson cards. Well, let me, what, let if me, it's at a bottom. But to your point, though, right? right? There were three quarterbacks this weekend that impressed me. Okay? One, who I was never high on. Two will look great. I don't care. I've been Short low day. on him. He looked great. Yep. Number two, Purdy. You've been talking about it. Purdy looked phenomenal. Okay? I wasn't a huge believer, but who else looked great? Karam's Jordan Love, right? Why? Because of what you just said. He's been sitting behind Aaron Rodgers yes. since 2020. It works. Jordan Love it is works. now the guy in Green Bay. He looked really, really good. Karam's a genius, by the way. And but wait, he and give, really wait, give good. Jordan Love more credit. Who is he missing? Only his number one wide receiver, Devontae Christian Adams. Watson. Well, well, well no, for they, week one. But I'm for saying, week one, he didn't even have his number one receiver. He has a rookie tight end in Luke Musgrave, who I picked up in fantasy and picked up a whole bunch of points because I knew that's where he was going to go. He looked really good. And I think Green Bay is starting to develop a little bit of a way to show teams you draft a quarterback, let him sit and if you got a great quarterback, let him learn. But this was Give the, him time. Don't just was, throw him out to This the was the idea with Jordan Love. This was yeah. the whole idea. This was the game plan. Let him sit. Let him learn and then develop. And now it's, this would be his third year of playing. He came to the league in 2020. And by the way, I have to say it, and, and I have no position in 2020 football. I will say it today. That is the greatest rookie crop in the history of yeah. any sport. Of any sport. It's true. Of any sport. Well, yeah. Jordan Love, Herbert, Burrow, Tua, Hurts. You have literally six guys, which four of them minimum it's... are elite today. Okay, then you haven't even gotten to the Justin Jeffersons, the CD Lambs, all these other guys. I mean, you just you haven't even gotten there. Then you haven't gotten to the Jonathan Taylors and all these. There's this, Pittman. This there's so era, many. I mean, it's the it, greatest well, crop in the history of sports. It is true. And when you think about it, there are two college teams that had offenses, literally within the last five years, that could have beaten a lot of NFL defenses. Yeah, with LSU, LSU and Alabama. Yeah, it's when it was Mac Jones, Tua. They had Devontae Smith. They had Waddle, it, Jerry Judy. They were all on one offense. Yeah. Is that not absolutely unbelievable? And then you had Burrow playing alongside with Justin Jefferson. And Jamar Chase. Yeah. And, and, and CEH, who has not panned out great due to injury. But here, look, here's another point that I absolutely wanted to make that's we're not thinking about either, right? Jordan Love... How, did, how do you think Jordan Love would have looked if he would have played in 2020 and Aaron Rodgers I think he around? would have been absolutely abysmal. Absolutely. Now I have a point to make for you, right? All of you guys that want an opportunity for cards, Trey Lance. Really? You know why? Because he's going to get that Jordan Love opportunity now. He's moved away from San Francisco. He's sitting in Dallas. How long do you think he's going to be sitting behind Dak? Dakota, sorry. He doesn't deserve the name Dak. He's not good enough. De How long is he going to be sitting behind Dakota? He's going to have years to learn and develop, just like yeah. Jordan Love did. And I'm telling but you, the problem he is, is just Prescott. like Jordan Love. He's got that talent. The problem is Dak Prescott's never going to be Aaron Rodgers. That's that's that's, that's true. That's but at problem. least he will have the time to sit back and learn instead of being thrown but, out in but, the middle. But the question is, what is he, he wasn't ready for? But what's he learning? That's well, the question. We'll, we'll, we're we're so, going to find out. Hope. Maybe he's going to learn more from but the, Rush. The key, the key to translating this to sports cards is, yeah. is that the, his, the reason why this is the greatest business in the world is because Zach Wilson is getting that opportunity. Yeah. Week one, no one thought he would have took, taken a snap in week one, and here he is leading the Jets to victory as a two-point dog on the road against Buffalo. So when you think about all this, right, you're right. Jordan Love... People stocked up on his cards, and then eventually they sold, realizing that he may never see the field. But for the, those guys that kept, they made a fortune. Absolutely. Zach, uh, Absolutely. Uh, Jordan Love's RPAs, they, I, I, without looking, they had to have jumped at least 50 60% at, after at, game at, one. Yep. After, I mean, Immediate, but yeah. even other guys. Talk about guys like Sam Howell. You know, like, listen, I'm going to tell you I, right I, now. Listen, Pickett, I said that. Pickett, Pickett, Pickett looked horrible. 
But you know what? It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You know why? Because San Francisco is the best defense Not in football. Not fair. Exactly. That, that, Not so, fair. So give me three more weeks. Because I think Pickett actually looked good for the situation. That's yes. what people don't get. He looked bad to an average football fan. But to people yeah. that know football, yeah. like yourself... He looked good, actually, in a weird way. It's not just about the stats. You have to watch the game and look at the, the vision. Pickett could be really good, I'm telling you, and I think he will be. I think Pickett will end up being better than Purdy, but Purdy Purdy just beyond impressed me. I this, mean, he, this is like Purdy literally. looks like, you know what's great about yeah. Purdy? He's great at managing a game. He's really great at controlling a game. He's like he's like a, a poor man's Brady in a way where he's, he's like, you know what's great about him? He doesn't make a lot of mistakes. That's what I like about Purdy. He doesn't, Josh Allen, you he makes all the mistakes. Josh Allen, the Bills are up 10 last night, and Josh Allen's throwing 50-yard passes. It's like you don't need to do that against the Jets. Go for 8 yards. Go for 5 yards. Go for 15 yards. His stats, 15 yards and plus, he was like 0 for 5 yeah. with 4 picks or something. Yeah. Exactly. Ridiculous. Is, is there Why a, are you doing that? Is there a difference between winning 35-6 to 6 or winning 13-10? I will never There's get, no difference. I will, Win the game. Listen. You don't need to put up. Yeah, I will fade Josh Allen his whole career. Based on last night's game. Because I think he's a talented... You know what he is to me? He's like the James Harden of football. He's a guy that's talented. He's never going to win. Ever. A guy like that can't win because he's not smart enough to understand the game of football. When you're up 10 points, you're up 13-3, to three, you're, you're not trying to... You, go 8 yards. Yeah. Throw to Diggs for 15 yards. Throw to Gabe Davis for 12 yards. What do you stop throwing a fifty yard throw? That's good. That's a, it's, it's just that there's no I to, logic I to, there. I totally agree. This is I, I, I got to stop you because this is probably one of the most difficult videos I've ever had to shoot with you because all of this talk. Because we actually because no, you're no, it's not that you're moving between 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. Like all I want to do is just rip all the wax from all of those years right now because all of those draft clips. Look at these guys we're talking about. Well, I'm gonna. They are incredible, and they're all from those last like three, four years. Listen, it's it's. And here, here's the best part. Every year, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a little tidbit, little behind the scenes action into what happens with Blaz with sports cards. Every freaking year, this guy looks at me and he's like, "This is gonna be a disaster for 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 football because these quarterbacks aren't good. These guys." And I I always say to you, give them time. These kids can be and will be stars. And every year, it is played out. That well, way, we, right? Trevor Lawrence, you were so upset about his rookie year. What did he do? Just turned around and went to the playoffs in year two with a Jaguar team that isn't that great. Well, here's okay, what's, here's what's these kids are so good. And this year, hold on one second. This year is actually no different. I thought Bryce Young was going to get mashed on Sunday. He didn't. He had them in the game until the fourth he quarter, didn't. and he shouldn't have. Okay, but, and, but, but, and Street J. Stroud. Should have been on the ground every other second. He wasn't terrible either. I mean, it's, Richardson was the clear number one of Rich, the weekend for sure. But, exactly. And to be honest, I thought Richardson was going to get his ass kicked yeah, in week one. He, actually, he didn't. It's so good what's happening with these Jameer Gibbs, but, right? I'm sitting here on our channel and I'm saying, what are the Detroit Lions doing? You have Jamal Williams. You have DeAndre Swift, even though he gets injured. You're going to just dump them, and you're going to go up to the 12th pick to get Jameer Gibbs? Like, yeah, he's got some talent. What did you guys see on Thursday? That kid has the ability to change football games. Well, here's and I think he though. will. T talking about all these rookie Seriously. crops. Because twenty, Let's go back to 2019, which at this point is the worst rookie crop ever. I mean, your number one is It Daniel all went Jones. amazing. After the, amazing, it, right? You know, but think about it. 2020, 2021, 22, and now 23. You know what the best rookie crop to invest in today is? 22, and it's not close, and I'll tell you why. 2020, mm -hmm. way too high, okay? Yep. Well, it's way too high for what it is to invest in, yes. even though it's the best class ever. It's so expensive. Yes. 21, Lawrence is the guy, great. Fields, never going to be a top 10 quarterback, solid. Situation, yeah. Problem is, huge fall off after that, right? 2021 ended up not delivering it the way it should have. Here's why 2022 is so great. Mm -hmm. Purdy looks like the guy. He is the guy. Pickett we believe in, okay? But here's what's interesting. Matt, they have Howell, starting quarterback in Washington. They have Ritter, starting quarterback in Atlanta. They have four quarterbacks that are starting now. Now. Yep. And it's, it's one year out. It's one year removed. And you're missing the biggest point. 22 football compared to 21 and 20 is cheap. Is cheap. It's very it's cheap. So when you think about it, There's that. by the way, and here's the best thing I'll say. Okay, with 22 football. I will not say for every product. If we, 
when you invest in football, Purdy, remember, he's not in every football product. So look when you invest to make sure you find products with Purdy in it. But let me tell you something. Yes. San Francisco, all the great teams are mm -hmm. in the AFC, right? San Francisco might be the favorite to win the whole to win it all right now. Why? Because they're in the NFC. The NFC is weak. They have to only compete with teams like Philly, Dallas, whatever. They have the best defense. They have one of the best quarterbacks. And I'm telling you right now, my money today, I believe San Francisco is going to get all of it. They're going to win it all this year. But here's what's interesting. They have the easiest path to get there. Yep. So when you're, you're buying 22 football now, for a 40% chance, in my opinion, for Purdy to get to the Super Bowl, 40%, and this stuff's going to go crazy. Last year, Purdy got hurt with his hand. If he was healthy, 22 double, yeah. football would have been double last year. Now you get to live that again, but the best part is it's cheaper now yep. than what it was four or five months ago. So buy 22 football with Purdy in it. Make sure he's in it because then you have pickup as backup. You've got Ritter as backup. You've got Howell as backup. I have sources that are telling me, by the way, non-card people, legitimate analytical sports people, they think Howell is the guy. People think Howell is going to be the guy in Washington. Okay. And you know what? He showed signs. Yeah. By the way, those people look, are not Blaze. But, but I but, but look, they, they showed signs. Yes. Yeah. We shot a video here Listen. at Blaze where I sat on this channel months actual sources two, two months ago. I shot a video right here in the studio saying, "Do not ever leave the Washington Football Team, the Commanders, on the board for 22 football because you have a Bowman." Baseball type situation. Yep. You have prospects. Yeah, okay, you have a rookie starting quarterback. You have a rookie starting running back. You have a rookie starting wide receiver. Yeah, when I, do you ever get that at a non elite price? You know, ever. We have, since it's we, the greatest. Since Blood started. Ever. Since 2016, we haven't seen it. Ever. Price. And guess what? Brian Robinson, we already know he's a stud. You're already one for three. Touchdown week one. He was the first touchdown of the season, and it was he, the guy's an absolute stud. Touchdown week and one. And Dotson, stud. Right. Another stud. Howell is our question mark, but what better question mark do you want than a quarterback? Because if he pops... How, see, here's the thing. Howell has a way better chance of being a top yeah. five quarterback than a guy like Fields. I think Fields has reached where he is. I think Howell is either going to be a bust or he will be the guy. That, and that's what I want. I want a guy that can be great. I don't want a guy like Fields that's going to be the 12th best quarterback. I don't want that. I want a guy that can win me games and win me when it matters. Here, here's and, the that's what here's, it is. and here's the other problem. I'm sure everybody agrees with this. He's got Sam Howell has a million more weapons on both sides of the football true. than poor Justin Fields does. Yeah. That defense is elite in Washington. And plus he has all these pieces on offense. I'm telling you, it always stymies me when and 22 football when Washington isn't sold. I really don't understand. And like you it. said, they're not. It they're makes not, no sense. To me. You're not paying. You're paying a price that's a fraction of a that's Pittsburgh, or an Atlanta, or even a San Francisco, and and that's it. But folks, this was. I don't know what we're going to call this segment. But... I, I, I don't. But all I can say is is I'm running off this camera to go rip some 22 and 23 football right now because we're just talking about it, and it's literally getting me salivating. By the way, it, it... Just salivating, watching the rookies from this year and the rookies from last year. It's true. Yeah. It's, it's, it's unbelievable how, how good they've been and how good they're going to be. We'll see just you guys watch. next week. Thank you.